Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we are going to be making these little reusable water balloons. They are a great environmentally friendly alternative to the regular water balloons. There's no more filling each individual balloon. There's no more picking up little tiny pieces all over your yard. All you need is a bucket of water and you're ready to have some fun. They also make a great little birthday party gift um, packaged up in a little bucket like this with um, even some cellophane wrap or something or to display on um, your market table. This is a crochet along so I will be doing every stitch with you. If you get lost or I do something you don't understand, there will be a drop down for the first 30 seconds of every row that you can refer back to. If you enjoy my video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Not only will that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. And of course, likes and thumbs ups are always appreciated. Well, I think that's everything, so grab your yarn and let's get started. All right, you're gonna start with your loop and you can make your start any way you want as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one and that's gonna be eight single crochets. Um, for me personally, I wouldn't use a magic circle just because I don't trust that it's not knotted. So for me, I make a knot with a loop on the end as if I was going to make a chain and then I leave enough of a space in there to fit my eight um, single crochets. So if you're beginning like me, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull through and you're gonna chain one. And I need to use a stitch marker at the beginning because I'm still fairly new to using this um, chunky yarn. Okay, so for round one, you're going to put eight single crochets into your loop. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm also very new to using this big, huge hook. <laughs> two. goodness three it will get better as we get going four there's just nothing to hold on to right now five six seven and eight and it's okay you want it nice and loose so if your stitches aren't tight that is perfectly all right row two you're going to be doing eight increases so that's two single crochets in each stitch all the way around for a total of 16. so let's get in that first stitch we're going to do an increase one two Increase again, three, four, increase again, five, six, increase again, seven, eight, increase again, nine, 10, increase again, 
11, 12, increase again, 13, 14, and increase again, 15, and 16. Rows three to seven, we're going to be doing 16 single crochets all the way around. Um, and I'm gonna use my row counter. So row one, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. That's one of five rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, that's two rows of five, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, that's three rows. My hand's already feeling crampy using this big hook. Okay, our next row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16, that's four rows, our last and our fifth row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I don't know why the lighting is doing that. All right. Row eight, we're gonna do eight decreases. So one decrease, two decrease, three decrease, Four decreases, five decreases, six decreases. Seven decreases. Eight decreases. Whoops. Row nine, you're going to be doing four decreases. So one decrease. Two decreases, three decreases, and four decreases. I'm starting to regret doing this on video now. I feel like I'm not doing a very good job. So hopefully, you're still with me here. So now we're going to slip stitch, chain one, and now we're going to put three single crochets in every stitch all the way around. We have four stitches, um, so we're going to have 12 single crochets in each, or all together. One, two, and three in the same stitch and then three more in the next stitch so four five six then you're going to have three in the next stitch seven eight nine and then three in the last stitch. 10, oops, 11, and 12. Then you're gonna slip stitch to that first chain you made at the beginning of the row. And then you're gonna tie that off. Leave yourself a bit of a tail. 
All right, now you're going to want to find your tail from at the beginning. I'm just going to pull it out a couple rows up. And then we're going to wind this down and we're going to come out that same spot we just brought our bottom tail out with. I'm going to just wind this in here somewhere, I think. You can go in and out a couple of times. I'm just going to do the one time just to show you how I close this up and end it. You might want to put a knot here. Um, so when you go down, you're not pulling this in. So just put a knot to save that so it doesn't crink in. And then once you have that how you want it, you're going to come out the same spot without catching any other stitches as your bottom tail. And then you're going to knot that so that the it's all one piece and then it's tied together. That should never fall apart unless it gets so worn that, um, like say this piece of yarn snapped or something. But just regular use should be fine. And then you just pull that knot on back to the inside where you can't see it. And there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little different than what I've been doing on my channel. Um, let me know if you'd like to see other little householdy stuff. Um, on my channel instead of just amigurumi. And like always, I gotta say my spiel. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I load new videos. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Have lots of fun with your new water balloons. Um, stay safe and happy crocheting.